Hey there, uh, just a new series on reasons to use op OpenSense. And I'm going to start the first reason that I would say is probably not the coolest feature, but probably one of the most important features, and that is backup. OpenSense has this great feature where any change you make, and I, I think it's in probably the latest versions of like PFSense too, but any change you make to the system, it actually backs that up automatically to local storage, which is great. So you have you have the ability to revert if something goes wrong or if you want to undo a change that you recently did, it gives you the ability to revert. And so that's pretty cool. But the cooler thing is, for those of us who like to um, maintain control over our own data, and while a backup is good, any backup is good, a backup local to the to the thing you're backing up isn't always the smartest thing. Well, it's not isn't always the smartest thing. It's never the smartest thing. OpenSense has this fantastic plugin that allows you to take those backups and automatically push them to your next cloud instance. Let me show you. Here we are uh, on OpenSense 22.1. And if we come into system, okay, and we go to firmware and then to plugins, we were looking for a plugin called Next Cloud Backup. To make sure that's installed. If it's installed, you'll see this info and the delete button. If it's uninstalled or not installed, you'll see a plus button. Simply click the plus button to install it. Great. Once you get that installed, we're going to come over here under system again. And this time we're going to go to configuration, then backups. We're going to scroll down or try to scroll down anyway. I can figure out how to do that. Now uh, we're going to go right past Google Drive. Google is evil if you if you're not aware. Um, and you're probably watching this on YouTube, but Google's still illegal, illegal, evil, and illegal. You're going to come down to Next Cloud. You're going to click Enable. You're going to give it the URL of your Next Cloud instance, and that would be the same URL you go to uh, to log in. Um, it's just the base URL. You're going to need a user and a password. So this could be your username, or if you created a separate user for the purposes of backup, you could do it that way as well. I highly recommend um, setting an encryption password. That's one thing to back up, but since it's your firewall and, and the backup's going to contain some sensitive information, uh, you definitely want to encrypt the backup before it gets stored in your next cloud instance. Uh, and just make sure you uh, document that encryption password somewhere safe. And then you have to give it a directory name. So um, that can be whatever you want, but the directory does have to exist in the next cloud instance, okay? So if you're logging in as user John or something, in John's profile on Nextcloud, this folder has to exist in whatever path you put here. So in this example, this folder is right at the root of this user's profile. So that's why we have just the name of the folder. But if you had it in a subfolder here, so let's say uh, there's a folder in your in, in the user's profile, it's you know, backup, and then underneath it, it's, you know, firewall A is a folder, because maybe you have multiple firewalls that you're backing up. And so maybe you want to separate them into separate folders, you would do it this way, okay? Um, and so, but in this case, we just have uh, a single folder right at the root, and that's, that's all that we need. Then we hit setup and test. What that'll do is log in and validate that that folder, the directory name, uh, exists. So that's it. And uh, so anytime you, you make a change to, to the firewall, uh, you can come in here and um, you'll see the come into your folder and you'll see all the backups. Isn't that cool? Um, so we'll do a, just a quick test. So let me come here and uh, I don't know, what can I change? Let's go to aliases and let's add an alias for um, we're going to add an alias for uh, port 9000. We call this 
<clears throat> minio underscore services and it's going to be type of port i'm going to do a uh, port 9000 and port 9001 okay and we're just going to do uh give it a description of min io services okay you know go ahead and hit save and then we're going to hit apply okay now if i come back here to system and i go to configuration and history we're going to see it's the 17th 343 eastern this is the change i just made okay this is the most current configuration and it took a little bit but uh there's our backup from uh, 356 so that's it love it that's awesome don't even have to worry about backing my firewall up anymore don't have to remember it i just make change save it hit apply and in the background open sense and next cloud make beautiful magic happen thank you next cloud thank you open sense all right that's it for uh number one numero uno in the books stay tuned for number two and if you have ideas on things you'd like to uh to see in these videos please let me know in the comments thanks have a good one bye